Hi everyone, and in front of you on the bench you can see an Amcor dehumidifier. This is one of the modern desiccant versions rather than a refrigerant, uh, and it's an unreliable piece of rubbish. Um, it's actually stopped working again when I actually need to use it, um, so I'm going to have to fix it again. Um, really cheap, nasty thing. Theoretically, it would be good if it was reliable, and it works reasonably well when it is working. Um, let me see if we can just explain. This is the top. Motorised vent here, control module here, fan motor that basically blows the air through. So there's like a filter part on top of here in the housing. Um, so I've just unscrewed that. This is a desiccant wheel. So basically, the, um, the damp air is blown into this wheel, this absorbs the moisture. Um, this rotates. There's a synchronous motor here, which rotates it. This is a heater. So basically, to dry the wheel out, there's another fan here. This blows through the heater, blows hot air onto this wheel to dry it out. So the benefit of these is they work in low temperatures, whereas the refrigerant ones need like an ambient temperature of 14 plus degrees usually. This one will work down to about zero. So as it can blow hot air through the wheel to dry it out, so it can continuously work. So this is the heater, so as you can see I've unscrewed everything, um, nothing complicated, just a spring, basically resistance wire, normal heating element, that insulation looks a little dodgy there. Uh, so this is the uh, fan module that blows the hot air through, and that goes through to the other side, is like a condenser on the other side. And this is the desiccant wheel. Now this, the problem is, this is jamming up. This motor is starting to make grinding noises, so I'm probably damaging the motor. Let's have a look. It doesn't. Yeah, it's not smooth at all. Very scratchy sounding. So I guess what we need to do. Some of these edges are horrible. I'm guessing running some sandpaper around these edges, cleaning it up, might help. There you can see the condenser on the back, where the hot damp air is condensed and then comes out in the drip tray at the bottom. Um, what's going on with this? Oh, oh okay. Hang on. There you go, look. So get a focus on it. Got a bent metal element here, that's not going to be helping things. So I reckon we need to straighten that out, clean up all these edges, make them smooth, clean up the edges in here, clean up this edge. I think that might help it. This has only had a few hours use by the way, so it's an absolute piece of garbage, it just isn't reliable at all. Um, another problem I had was the wire came off here, and that's come off again. So why is too short? This wire keeps coming off. I've soldered it back on, but it just breaks off. It's, it is literally the thinnest connect, thinnest conductor you've ever seen. It's like a hair. So, hmm, I wonder if I can put a new wire on from the board to here rather than keep reusing that because it keeps breaking off. Absolute junk. This is really built down to a price, you can tell. Anyway, let's see what we can do to improve this wheel, make it smoother. I might be able to get it up and running again. Okay, so it's being reassembled now. And I've just put a little extension on this wire and heat shrunk it on, so hopefully it won't keep ripping off. Uh, right, I'm just going to finish reassemble. Well, I'm going to half reassemble it, and then I'm going to fire it up with the case open, and we can see how it works. Okay, the nurse is fired up. Now the audio is going to be terrible, obviously, because of the fan noises. But you can see the desiccant wheel turning. Now, look how lopsided this fan is. High quality uh, manufacturer, as you can see. I would not recommend this product at all. It is an absolute piece of junk. Look at that, that is really nice and bent. <laughs> but I think we've got this uh, operating at least smoothly enough that it's going to work. So I'm going to put the case back together. Oh, it's shut down. The reason it's shut down is because it thinks the water is full because it can't see. This is the lid for the, the water container and there's a little magnet here. 
and there's a Hall effect sensor there. So if we put that there, hang on a sec, I'm going to have to press something. Right, so it's saying, right, so if we do that, there you go, let's fire back up again. Right, I think that's working, let's put it back together.